day 33. This blog was about considering myself. Um, and within this blog, I spoke or I wrote about um, considering myself within all that is here within this physical world and how I have been existing and seeing myself within this point of being better, higher, more than let's say the animal kingdom, the insect kingdom, the oceans, the marine life, um, nature in general and based on this acceptance within humans of you know seeing ourselves more than these life beings or these you know natural beings in this world they are life beings of course um you know the animals the trees um the oceans and you know even insects when you see an insect and you you know, get all grossed out by it and you go and swat it and kill it or you just swat it and like it, you know, walks along, it's not totally dead yet. And, you know, people like, I've seen people like laugh and say, look at that. Um, it's not totally dead, look at how it's, you know, moving. And it's like, you know, that per that fly is in pain, it's damaged. It's not dead, it's still alive, suffering, so. Um, you know, why do we kill flies? Why do we kill bugs? I have walked a, a process with that because, um, you know, you always, within ourselves, we always just thought, you know, we can just kill bugs. It's, they're just bugs, they're tiny little things. Um, but I looked at the point, and it's like, why are we actually killing bugs? Like, because of fear, because they're annoyance, um, because they're supposedly dirty and gross. And, you know, all those points, they're in fear, annoying, gross. So within seeing you know these beings in fear, gross, annoyance, these are all ideas, these are all mind creations. When in actual physical fact reality the fly is flying around just like we are walking around. The fly is just a smaller version, a different version of the physical. And it's, you know, designed in such a way based on, you know, life, how life's created itself. So why do we have the right, because we're bigger than flies and we have all these ideas about it, to just go and swat it and kill it for no reason. But they're annoying, you're in fear of it, you think it's dirty, when none of these things are true. Um... And the... We don't have a right to kill life like that. I mean, obviously, if there's like, like the other day, a fly, not a fly, but a little bug, like a little gnat bug, flew into my mouth, and I, I like took it out, and I looked at it, and its legs, all their like le the legs was, all like screwed up, and I think one of the f wings was bad, so obviously the bug was, you know, couldn't fly and his, his legs were either broken 
or uh, messed up. So I just squashed it immediately and killed it because it was a better solution for it because it would have suffered if I just left it and it didn't have a wing to fly and it didn't have legs to move. So it's within any point in the physical, it's to consider yourself within it. You know, would would I as a bug want to live with no wing, like a broken wing and um, broken leg? Um, you know, no, no one would want to live with broken legs. And so, you know, you do what's best for all. You do it in self-honesty. Um, so within this blog, pretty much I just walk the points of aligning myself with the physical and forgiving myself for not considering the physical as myself taking advantage of it, and um, seeing it as less than me and that I can just take it for granted and take advantage of it and not consider that it's actually physical life that is being taken and it has its own equilibrium, it has its own balance within itself as nature, as the animal kingdom, as any point of life, there's a balance within it. And, you know, we as, we as human beings equal one to the life that is here with us as nature. You know, we have to respect that equality and oneness that exists within our world here. But... You know, we have these ideas that, you know, it doesn't matter if we, you know, pump oil out of the ground. And, you know, there could be a risk of an oil spill, but, you know, who cares? We can make profit off the oil. And, you know, it doesn't matter that there's whales in Antarctica being hunted and speared in the gut and dragged along for a half hour until it dies and then taken in and used, cut up and sold into the market for, you know, profit. While all the other whales are sitting around and they do it, they kill them in such a way where the air, the whales can't, you know, they have to come up for air. So they wait for it to come up for air and then they go up alongside it and the whale can't, you know, the boats are much faster than the whale so they can't get away. And they shoot them through the gut, through the side with a spear and it just they just drag it along and just let it die. And that's every point where there is profit to be made off of animals, off of nature. This is what humanity does. We just go and consume and consume and destroy it because we don't even consider, um, we don't have respect for ourselves. We don't consider ourselves, so we don't consider what we're actually doing. We're just trying to survive here. We're just, you know, doing the best we can to get some kind of money so we can live. And of course that's based on the world system, the way our world is created and conducting itself between with, you know, systems in place where it's very hard to get money, it's very hard to sustain money. So people, you know, have to survive somehow, so they just do what they can. And many people on the top of this money system, of this world system, have, you know, billions and billions of dollars. And the, most of humanity has nothing. So, you know, in, within the forgiveness, I forgive myself for 
not considering life here, not considering myself within the life that is here, and aligning myself with the quality and oneness to all life and stopping at nothing to create systems and this world new where all life is considered, all life is respected, all life is supported in all ways. We create a system that is best for all. This, obviously, I'm already walking and the Destiny group is already walking. People who care for life and want to create a system here that will indeed walk this point of equality, oneness, and principle for what's best for all. And that's through we're walking the equal money system, which has the base foundation for this system as these are the principles of it, doing what's best for all seeing each other, living equality, living oneness within and as ourselves through walking a process of aligning ourselves with the physical and aligning ourselves with life here in the physical and staying practical and solving the issues in common sense and walking a system that's supportive for all. So... The corrections I would be walking is stopping, separating myself from life here, from nature, stop my self-interest for to get things that I don't need, and stop desires to, you know, get more and more stuff. Realizing that this more and more stuff, life is being destroyed, life is suffering to get this stuff that's here through how products are made in the world system. And so, you know, stopping all that and just living here with, you know, what I have and bring, doing what I have to do to live here, but also considering myself within all the life that is here living with me and supporting me and doing my best to support life and respect life and the balance that is here as life as myself as how I would want to be respected how I would want myself to be equal or created in a equal way with all and thus always considering having myself considered through considering everyone else everything else and that's always through equality <clears throat> so those are points I walked in my blog, and that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching.